All the technology we have nowadays is making it easier than ever for you to stay informed and connected during a storm. But what if the power goes out? Well, the now Tampa Bay's Christy Post is showing you how you can prepare your digital devices for Erica. First things first, if you have a cell phone, conserve your battery, and it's pretty easy. All you have to do is close the apps on your cell phone, put it on airplane mode, and then turn down the brightness of your screen. But what if the power goes out? You're going to need something to charge your phone. Well, you can buy a portable charger. This one's $15.99. It works for most phones, and it gives you 15 hours of power. If you don't have a cell phone, it might be a good idea to get one of these prepaid phones where you pay as you go because if there is an emergency, you're going to need something to dial 911. By now, you should have your mobile device ready, so save important numbers for your friends and family and non-emergency numbers for the police, fire, and transportation department. Of course, we will have all the live updates on TV, but in case the power does go out, you can continue to watch it online at abcactionnews.com. All you got to do is click the live streaming button. If the storm hits and we do see some damage, it's also important to document everything by taking before and after pictures. You can do that with your cell phone, but if you need a conserved battery, you can pick up a digital camera if you don't already have one. And most importantly, after the storm, tell your friends and family you are okay by texting, emailing, or sharing it on your social media pages. For the now, I'm Christy Post.